I'm Lizzie. I'm Jana, and we were the editors for the magazine, The Ashbourne. What is it? So, I'm Lizzie. I'm Jana. And we're the editors of the Ashbourne Society magazine. We had a variety of uh, arts and drama and reviews of music. Uh, we had debates, uh, we had a lot fashion, of sciences. Fashion section, science, science and tech. We had a. Was it Street Style? Street Style. Which was done by Asta, which is where students were photographed looking good for the fashion section. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a, quite a few technical problems. Yeah, because um, the magazine had to be 20 pages and uh, we had like three over, so we had to take some out, and it was quite difficult to kind of figure out how we wanted to, like, what we could take out and what we could keep in and then we had to kind of go back and re-edit everything so that it would be like the correct amount of pages. We also had problems with people with deadlines like we set a deadline and then people found it hard to stick to so we kind of just gave the incentive that if you don't do it you're not in the magazine and that, that was pretty successful in getting everyone to hand in on time. We did have, quite good with yeah, that actually. but we did have quite a variety of articles which kind of made it easier for us because everyone kind of had their own thing that they wanted to do so science and tech and then all the way to fashion and then music and yeah yeah we basically covered all the bases so it was quite successful. yeah and it made the magazine easy to organize as well because each each section was very much a section in itself James Kelly's article on gravity was quite interesting because I didn't know he was interested in that yeah and you got to kind of um, kind of see everyone's interests that you wouldn't normally know that they would have an interest to write a whole article about it so it was quite yeah. interesting to see. Yeah, it was nice as well, we had a debate whether um, the British Council were right in cutting funds for the arts and that was very interesting to see. There was from a drama perspective a girl that does drama, Grace Vance and also Olivia Jevons um, who doesn't do drama and she's more kind of politics and stuff so it was interesting to see the contrast between them. We also had philosophy debates, which was interesting because we organised it so it looked like a Facebook conversation. Yeah. So it was kind of taking philosophy into kind of the modern, yeah, our generation kind of conversation. Yeah. It's kind of like a showcase of everyone's yeah. interests, but also everyone's kind of ability to be able to put together kind of a magazine that is just such a huge variety of what everyone wants to talk about. Yeah. And it just shows that we're kind of not just a bunch of you know students going to class so we actually have outside interests and that what we can we are capable of writing something that is worth reading and that all these individuals can work as a whole and there are so many like there's such a variety of different kind of ethnicities <laughs> there's such a variety of different ethnicities and different interests each individual then helped create the whole Well, we can't say names no, right now. It's a secret. But <laughs> can't put that in. <laughs> no, but um, we're confident that because we kind of have set the bar. I think I think we set the bar quite high. So yeah. uh, we hope that the people next year will continue to kind of. Achieve. But there are a lot of very able people in AS that I'd be quite happy handing our little baby yeah. over to. People who have given in their articles yeah. in the magazine will probably be the future editors. It was difficult. At the same time, I had my English coursework that was simultaneous. So it was basically just about organising it. And you also had to depend and rely on people to just do what they were told, hand it in at the right time. Exactly. And because like me and Lizzie were kind of simultaneously in this kind of kind of group, so that we had to divide the work between us, and we were co constantly in communication with each other about what we wanted to include. So. If I made a change or if Lizzie made a change that we would always tell each other and we'd always kind of discuss what we wanted to kind of get overall. So it was kind of good team up. Yeah. It was quite it was really a lot of fun to do. Yeah. It felt like kind of at times it got I was just like oh, I'm gonna kill everyone it was, in it. It was yeah, it was but very stressful but at the end when we finally had the finished product, it was I, very it was like we'd given birth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if can you say that? Can I say that?